this is a video to show you an EA that I wrote. Uh, it allows you to use a visual interface to enter and exit trades. It's called VT Beta, st which stands for Visual Trader. This is the risk to reward ratio. The computer will calculate the take profit based on this ratio. Uh, I'll show you that later. And this right here is the most interesting feature. It says split into. Let's say you want to buy one standard lot and you want to split that into three equal orders. The computer will then split that lot into a div divided by three. I'll show you what I mean. When you first put it on, you have all this stuff in here. I'll show you what each one of these things are. But right here, when you click on it, it allows you to enter the number of lots you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy one lot. Let's say you want to buy 11 mini lots, 1.1 standard lots. Right there. Uh, the computer will then split that 11 mini lots into three equal parts that totals 11 mini lots. Uh, as soon as the tick data comes in, you will see right here how the computer calculates three equal lots. And you could, so this makes it a lot easier. Let's say you want to, okay, right there, see, 1.1 mini lots, 1.1 standard lots has been split into 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0.3, meaning four mini lots, four mini lots, and three mini lots. Uh, so when the computer enters the order, it will be three separate orders of this amount of lots. This is this blue flag is your entry flag. You could put it right there, and your stop. Let's say you want to put the stop below the swing low, right there. It doesn't have to be lined up. It could be here. You could put this stop flag anywhere. Uh, I'll just for ease of uh, the video I just line it up but it could be here below this swing low and remember earlier you entered the risk reward ratio being 2 to 1 well this is the take profit at 1400 how that's derived is the computer multiplies the distance right here by whatever amount you entered. We entered two, so this is twice the distance from here to here compared to here to here. So that's a risk to reward ratio of two to one. Okay? And then this right here where it says not active, well, if you delete it, then as soon as the next tick data comes in, it will be an active order right there. Let's say, let's move it closer to the market uh, price. See right here it says 1377. Now the question is going to be asked, is spread included? Well yes, spread is included. And this is the price that's going to show up on your statement at the end of the month. So spread is included. Your entry price will be 1377. Let's look at what the market price is. Okay. This USD Swiss right now is trading at 1.1378 asking price. So, as soon as this drops to 1.1377, the computer will enter three orders, one being 0.4 lots or four mini lots, another one of four which is three mini lots. So this is the split. Earlier we told the computer to split our 1.1 standard lots into three equal orders. And this will allow you to exit your trade a third at a time. So this is, um, makes it easier for managing your trades. Right now we're just waiting for the market to drop one pip down to 1.1377 so we so the order will be filled. While we're waiting, I'll show you right here. 
all this information here this says your stop is 17 pips and this says that each standard lot pip is worth eight dollars and seventy nine cents because this is the USD switch now of course if you're trading mini lots then each pip is worth eighty seven point nine cents so I put all this information here to uh, make it easier for getting information at your fingertips this right here says active order so right now we have a active buy order actually at 1.1377 1 um, it says 76 because the computer hasn't updated this new price yet and because the way MT4 works is that it recalculates or it re gathers information with each new tick coming in right now a new tick has not come in yet right now the market is slow so I'm just sitting here waiting for a tick to come in the computer is also waiting for a tick to come in to update the new information soon as a new tick comes in this information will be updated to 1.1377 in fact if that uh, if this asking price drops to our entry price will get filled okay look we just got filled and we longed the USD Swiss C 0.3 lots at 1.1377 another order was entered at 04 lots another four mini lots so three orders and it totals 1.1 standard lots which is 11 mini lots which is what we entered here at the beginning and I'll show you what it looks like on our terminal okay see we bought we bought uh, four mini lots, four mini lots, and three mini lots all within a very short span of time at 8.32 on the 28th of December three orders were entered totaling 1.1 standard lots the take profit is calculated at a risk risk reward of two times which is what we previously had entered in the param parameters all right so that's the terminal and then um so let's go on to show you that once an order has been filled it's no longer active so it says no no further trades will be taken and so now it's a good time to um, take off the EA so that um, no further trades will be taken okay I know that was kinda fast so let's review um, what was all done here the first thing you did was you entered the parameters you told the computer your risk reward was to be 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio here and you said you wanted to split the order into three equal parts for you to manage your trade so that you could en exit one third of your trade at a time if you put two here then you would be able to exit half of your trade at a time the computer is going to allow you to split things up to 30 lots 30 different equal orders I don't think you're ever going to need that the most you're probably going to use is probably 3 that's what's useful that's what's most useful any more than that is just 